Welcome back. So today we're going to do a quick one on the Effect Audio Code 24 cable. So that is this blue guy right here. So before we do that, let's kind of jump into and we'll talk about some impedance numbers very quickly since it's all hooked up. So as you can see, this one is hitting about 0 0.2, 0 0.19, and maybe go down to 0.18. But again, these probably aren't related to anything sound related, but it, it does show that this is a nicely constructed cable. It is hitting numbers that you would actually expect at a very high quality build. So 0.19, anything below your normal cable that you would get with a stock um, earphone, probably about 0.33. That's about the midpoint. Anytime you're down into the 0.2s, 0.1s, you're talking about a very low impedance cable. And uh, so, yeah, no problems there. It's a pretty much exactly what I uh, expected. Clio 2 Octa probably has more strands. It went down a little bit lower, but this is still a, a pretty high strand count uh, cable. So no surprise that it's actually hitting very nice numbers, as you can see. So let's pull these out of the way so we can see what is going on here with the cable. So this is the Code 24, and it is a um, intimidating cable. If you are used to stock cables, this one is quite a bit thicker. I think they call it 16 gauge, I think is what it is. Yeah, 16 and a half gauge. So yeah, a very thick two core thick cable you do get very crazy thick um, connectors right here the splits and the terminals this is term x and connex as well so this is modular and this is modular and those are right here so you get this box and this box for changing out your termination and for changing to mmcx but yeah, super, super nice. Um, you know, I think this style with such a thick cable, this is going to appeal to some people. I My initial thought about it was that it actually feels more like a headphone cable than an IM cable because it's it's it has like, I think headphone cables tend to have more mass than earphone cables. I think they're just constructed in that way. But yeah, this one is super, super nice. It was kind of a, a very cool experience and you can kind of see their hidden gem split, which actually folds or not folds, but slides right back in place. So you can't actually see it. So when you get the cable, it tends to look like that and it hides away in its little uh, pocket. But yeah, yeah, absolutely super nice cable. Uh, very enjoyable to use. Very cool experience. And I do want to thank Effect Audio for uh, letting me borrow this one for some time. So the spec dump on Code 24, 13 multi-size core bundles, a proprietary blend of multi-size strands, and a whopping 16.5 gauge, which is exactly what you are looking like at here. Ignore the beep. That is the um, multimeter turning off. So also about $800 uh, retail price. So the 13 strands, you do have this ring of about 12 strands, uh, 12 bundles, I mean. And then you have uh, another core, a solid core. They call that the Trio Flex uh, solid core is what they call that technology that they have. These are, they call these UPOCC, uh, silver SPCs. And then you get some insulation and they do their flex insulation, which is actually quite nice and nice and soft. So that is the specs on what's kind of inside of the thing, or at least under the insulation, the things that you cannot see. So the wear, and I'll, I'll say kind of exactly what I said. This is kind of where that 16 gauge, you're really going to notice it because it's a very thick boy. And I wouldn't say it's overly heavy at all. It doesn't really feel overly heavy, but it just has some mass to it. And, and it just, you notice it that you're wearing it. So it feels more than, it definitely feels more than a stock cable. Perhaps it's, a, I think the weight is actually closer to a headphone cable than an IM cable that you might be used to. So do take notice. I mean, I think that was one of the things that I didn't really think about when I was looking at it online and looking at the pictures. You're like, oh yeah, it looks kind of thick. And yeah, 16 gauge is kind of way up there in thickness. But you know, having it wrapped around your head or across your chest, it's definitely more noticeable than your typical cable. And some people will gravitate towards this style and they will love that style. And other people will say it's a little bit too much. I like to move around. I don't like to notice this thing uh, crossing my chest in that way. So for sound, and they call this one the, the super tweeter effect. And I would sort of describe it more as adding clarity or revealing more, not necessarily a treble boost. And I think that was where... I think the super tweeter effect, I'm not sure how they how they would describe it, but I would say it's not necessarily boosting, it's revealing more. 
allowing better separation, cleaner edges. I would say it literally removed the haze. It, revo it resolved more without the boost. And, and perhaps it was a little bit related to better bass control is a, something I noticed as well. But definitely, um, the believer would say it's annoyingly good. And that comes... I was actually playing with uh, Dunu's Titan S2, the, the brand new single dynamic driver. And I've been EQing it, and I've been trying to figure out how to make it sound more resolving. And I was just playing with and playing with it, trying different sources. I had actually have the new Lutshore DT-03. I'm like, this, this set should sound more resolving than it does. And then I looked over at... Um, code 24 i'm like okay i'll give it a shot i mean Dunu includes a really nice cable with with titan s2 so i tried and immediately i sort of heard exactly what i had been trying to hear how to make a single dynamic driver sound more resolving and then i saw the eq kind of click in place and i'm like oh that was that was super annoying i had been you know dicking around with this set for a little while and you know just hearing what it should have sounded like as soon as i heard it on this cable i'm like yeah that's exactly what it was what i was going for and how it should sound when you look at the graph and i was looking at my eq and what a dynamic driver should really do all clicked in place as soon as i tried the cable and so I, yeah it was super annoying that i'd spent some time and then i should have just tried for a better pairing and have something with better synergy with the you know the dongle i was using and the eq i was using and the set i was using but yeah this one totally fell in place uh, in an annoying way but yeah I will, I will absolutely say this one was annoyingly good uh, to listen to so that is what i got on code 24 so thank you guys again for uh, tuning in and i will see you next time <laughs>